Coach, uh, still a little over a week away uh, until that exhibition uh, with the first goal, but uh, with practice uh, underway, how have things gone uh, so far? It's gone well. It's exciting. Uh, great energy level. Uh, we have uh, all freshmen and sophomores on our roster, except for three seniors, and that's uh, Rocky Brown, Tom Witzel, and Ethan Diller. Ethan's been in the program uh, for five years. He had a medical redshirt year, and uh, he's kind of the backbone, the green and gold of our program as far as uh, being the right voice on the on the court and in the locker room and he does the right thing. So uh, Ethan has been a, a great leader, and we're excited about having him uh, say and do the right things throughout the season. Uh, great energy level. We're playing at a high level offensively. I uh, really like the way we're playing. Uh, defensively, we're coming up with schemes to uh, to uh, counter the fact that we don't have Calvin Young, a shot blocker and a defensive rebounder. So we're finding our strengths that's remaining on our roster to try to patch that big hole without Calvin Young this year. Uh, with three seniors, uh, a young team, uh, you concerned about those growing pains or just the kind of inexperience? Or, uh, or, or do you kind of like the guys and feel like that, that they'll be quick at learning curve? I, you know, quick learning curve is, is uh, exactly what we need to do. We need to be uh, alert and uh, on task here early. We have a lot of preseason games. Uh, the first 10 out of 11 games this season are at home. And so we'll, we'll have the comfort of playing the Lumberjack Arena throughout November and most of December. And then we hit the road um, a lot in January finish uh, hopefully strong in February and, and start playing in March like we did last year. We want to repeat what we did last year and play well at the end of the year and go into March madness uh, hitting on all cylinders. Uh, any newcomers that you feel like can, can make an immediate uh, impact? Uh, Jack Cobb's playing extremely well. 6'8 kid out of Orange County and uh, he's playing for Los Alamitos High School, a championship team in Southern California. Very versatile player. Uh, steps out, hits a three. Uh, but he's, he's tough and he plays inside and uh, as a freshman we're looking at him getting a lot of minutes if not starting early so he's he's looking awfully tough. Uh, Nikhil Lazat out of uh, Davis High School in, in uh, Yakima, Washington uh, is a very skilled player uh, really shoot it, really score it, uh, will take up the slack of Alan Gway, missing Alan Gway and, and uh, looks great. Tyrus Rattler, a red shirt freshman very strong, left-handed, athletic wing who can uh, pick up the slack for Austin Bryan last year. He's an instant scorer, a very good defender, so I don't think we'll miss a beat with that. Even though the driver's license say 17, 18 years old, and we've lost a couple of seniors that were 23, 22 years old, uh, I think we'll be all right. As a coach, I mean, there's coaches out there that would love to have five starting seniors know who those guys are, but then there's other coaches that, that you don't know who you're starting five might have an idea, but to kind of talk about that and how competitive it's going to be from you know the practices, exhibitions until when you start the regular season. Well, we when we changed gears last year and we made Malik Morgan our starting freshman, uh, that's when we started to win. I think we won the last 19 out of 22 games of the season, and with him at the reins as a freshman, we certainly played well. I think there's a team called Kentucky that plays freshmen, so why can't we? And that's how I feel about it, and that's the way this program's been built. When we had uh, Austin Nichols, Fred Hooks, and Mark White, they started as freshmen. And uh, I'm certainly not afraid to start a, a Tyrus Rattler or Malik, or a Malik like we did last year, uh, Nikhil or Jack this year, and, and see where that takes us four years from now. All right, Coach.